The basic construction of a submarine consists of the pressure hull, the tanks which are built around the pressure hull, and the superstructure. The pressure hull, which includes the conning tower, is the principal part. This hull must be watertight and airtight and able to resist the water pressure when submerged. The hull is circular for maximum strength and is reinforced by steel frames over its entire length. Fitted around the pressure hull are the tanks. There are ballast tanks which control the buoyancy of the boat and fuel tanks. The main ballast tanks are completely flooded when the boat is submerged. Some of these main ballast tanks are divided into port and starboard tanks. This is a cross section. The tanks have flood ports open to the sea. The main vent valves control the escape of air when flooding the tanks. These are emergency vent valves. They are used in case of damage to the main vents or to prevent accidental flooding. In order for the submarine to submerge, both sets of vents must be open to flood the tanks. Since the tanks are open to the sea when submerged, the pressure is the same on both sides. Therefore, the outer skin of these and similar tanks is not made as strong as the pressure hull. In order to surface, air under pressure is admitted to blow the water from the tanks. High pressure air at first, followed by low pressure air. These two main ballast tanks operate in the same way, except that they are not divided and have no emergency vents. In addition to the main ballast tanks, there is a group of variable ballast tanks. These are used to control the trim and buoyancy of the submarine. They are the forward trim tank, the after trim tank, two auxiliary tanks, and the forward and after water round torpedo tanks. These variable ballast tanks are only partly filled and the seawater can be pumped from one tank to another or to sea. The construction of the modern submarine employs the latest developments in science and engineering to make it a formidable weapon against the enemy.